Alright, so it's been a hot minute since I have made a video talking about Machine Gun Kelly. You know, I think since the last one, I have made a ton of videos about a bunch of different singers. You know, I made a I made a video about some red-headed dude from England. Uh, yeah, that one is out. You can go and check that out. I made a video about a dude who got into a, um, a Mortal Kombat fight with Rihanna. You can also go and check that one out. Again, I've been making a ton of music videos, but we haven't exactly had much news to talk about when it comes to MGK, but today we finally got some more news regarding his new rap album, which I'm pretty excited to talk about. Again, last one was, I think, the interview where he was, um, you know, talking with some, some other, some other emo-looking ass dude that, uh, again, looks like he's straight out of the 2000s. You, you got that one. But yeah, in this one, we've got more news about the rap album. He actually confirmed on Twitter something that I think a lot of people weren't expecting. And to kind of go from the start where uh, this rumor was really being started was there was a thing being going around at the time that did say that Pharrell Williams would actually be producing, I believe, a, a new album for someone and would be making some new music with a famous celebrity. Again, everyone and their dad was... You know, saying, oh, it's going to be some, some famous-ass rapper. Is it, you know, is it 21 Savage? Is it 2013 Justin Bieber? When he was, um, you know, pissing in buckets and throwing his shit on cop cars. Whatever the fuck he was doing that year. Or was it, you know, the guy who is not gay, but is sus. I don't know how to describe him, but Drizzy Drake is, is his name again. There was a lot of rumors on who was Pharrell collaborating with. And to be honest, I don't really know exactly that much music. I didn't think that Pharrell had produced. But when you actually go and look at it, he's produced like a ton of legendary songs. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I thought one of them was Let It Go in Frozen. Turns out it's not. He actually produced songs like, you know, Migos, Stir Fry, and the greatest song of all time, Blurred Lines, which... Again, probably has one of the um, best lyrics ever. And again, I'm, I'm assuming Pharrell maybe helped write that because it would probably take more people than what it took to build the pyramids 18 million years ago to create that line. So I'm assuming Pharrell had some input in it. I feel so lucky. Hey, hey, you wanna hug me? Hey, hey, hey. What rhymes with hug me? Hey, hey. But again... It is being confirmed right now by the man, the myth himself, Mr. Pink, on Twitter that he and Pharrell have collaborated on what looks to be six songs. Again, he just basically tweeted out saying, me and Pharrell just made six of them, two eye emoji. Uh, a bunch of people in the comments were saying, you know, what what is he talking about? Is this porn video, six babies? Did he dump Megan Fox to get with Pharrell? I don't know. It looks like it's going to be songs. What the fuck? Does anyone hear my dog right now? Sounds like she's trying to sing freaking Chandelier from Sia or some shit. I don't even know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, MGK is going to be having Pharrell Williams, it looks like, as a big producer on the album. I don't think he obviously had Pharrell on six songs, unless they're trying to, you know, compete with 21 Savage and Drake and try and make the most sus collaboration album of 2022. That would be pretty cool, in my opinion, but it doesn't look like the case. It would be awesome if Pharrell was at least on one song. Who knows, maybe they're going to remix Happy from Despicable Me 2, and MGK just has a verse about Cleveland on there or something. I don't know. It can't just be me who maybe fantasizes about that song, but yeah, it looks like Pharrell will be producing at least six songs on the album, which is pretty important when you think that this guy already has a, bu a bunch of other really, really good producers that have basically been confirmed for the album. You know, you got Ronnie J, who looks like he's, re you know, producing the song Go Hard slash Praise the Lord. Uh, which was teased a little bit ago. Then he got the Internet Money song that everyone thought was going to be on his album or their album. But it looks like now um, that Internet Money song might be on MGK's one. And then you've, of course, got Pharrell Williams as well. Potentially Travis Barker as well. So, like, when you think about that, you got Trav Barker, Pharrell Williams, Internet Money, and Ronnie J, like, four of the biggest producers in the world right now, is, like, literally insane. Like, the bar for this album is literally 
set freaking higher than Snoop Dogg in the 90s. So, uh, again, it's going to be really interesting to see how this, of course, goes. I'm not sure what other producers are going to be on it. Some people are saying Trav Barker is not going to have anything to do with it because it's not a rock album. But we know with Mainstream Salah, MGK combined like multiple different genres he did. Of course, punk. There was a bit of grunge in there as well. Some, I think, rap as well here and there with, um, you know, the song with Thugger and Gunner. So, of course, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a song or two that had Trav Barker produce it. You know, it could be a similar type of song to Hollywood Whore. That was, again, a darker rock rap song from Hotel Diablo. Or even just a punk song like the one they did with Youngblood on that album, I Think I'm Okay. It could be really a lot of different things, but I do think Trav Barker will most likely have some involvement on this album. But yeah, it looks like if these six songs are going on the album, which I don't expect all of them to, but if they are, Pharrell Williams looks like he's going to have a very big part of this album, which is going to be pretty cool. Another thing I'd like to talk about is in the previous videos, I did say that a confirmed song that will most likely be on the album is the one with Lil TJ, which is called Go To War. I was very kind of skeptical about this song. If you actually go on the big internet browser of videos, you know, um, not Pornhub, I'm talking about YouTube, um, you can actually see the leak there and it didn't sound that great. It sounded like a little bit rushed and not something that was probably going to be album worthy. And from what it looks to be is it's actually going to be a song from his movie called Taurus that he will be releasing, I believe, on the 18th of November. Again, Lil TJ is in that movie, and I think someone said they had a rap battle in the in the movie or something. There's it's been some early screenings or something, so that's going to be pretty interesting. But I think it would be cool if when this movie does come out, MGK actually released the song. You know, just as a as a promotion with single for the movie or whatever, not as a single for the album. But of course, maybe later down the track, if he was to release a deluxe of the rap album, maybe he just chucks it on there. But from the looks of it, this album is going to be like 20 songs. We've seen a lot of rappers make very big albums recently. You know, R&B singers like Chris Brown as well, rappers like Thugger, all these type of dudes have been making really, really big albums. You know, Kanye, Drake, etc. It makes me think that Considering his punk albums were about 15 or 16 songs, I think this one could be about 20 songs. Especially considering it looks like he's going to have a lot of features as well. You know, again, I would highly recommend checking out my previous videos to see all the features that look like they are confirmed. But again, if we're looking at like 20 songs on the normal album, you've already got dudes like Rumor Has It Uzi is going to be on it. Um, which would be really interesting. Polo G as well. Looks like could be another person on there. TJ, maybe, but I think that song will be on the deluxe, if anything. Again, Dro Kenji will potentially be on there. Pharrell Williams now could potentially be on there. So many other dudes here and there, it looks like, could potentially be on there as well. So, it's going to be really interesting to see how this, of course, goes. Again, I definitely would recommend subscribing to the channel if you haven't already for latest music content and music news. Again, comment what your thoughts and opinions are about this album are you guys excited for it definitely let me know your thoughts and opinions when do you guys think it's going to come out who would you guys like to see on it definitely let me know but as i was saying please make sure to leave a like subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys next time goodbye